Billionaire Elon Musk said Friday his artificial intelligence company Zay's chatbot GROK 1.5 should be available to the public next week, after the chatbot became open source and officially entered the rapidly growing AI chatbot market. We estimate Musk to be worth about $195.3 billion. He is the third richest person in the world, behind LVMH Bernard Arnault. $227 billion, and Jeff Bezos, $198.4 billion. Musk and Bezos have gone back and forth for the world's second richest person more than a dozen times this month. Earlier this month, Musk sued OpenAI, which he co-founded in 2015 and later left in 2018, and its CEO Sam Altman. The lawsuit alleges the company has prioritized shareholders rather than fulfilling a pledge to make its chat GPT model open source. Musk officially launched XAI last July in an effort to compete with OpenAI. The first version of Grok was released in November, with Musk announcing just a day later he would be merging his AI firm with social media platform X. The chatbot was initially restricted to X Premium Plus users paying a $16 monthly subscription fee, but Musk announced he would open source the chatbot to all users in early March. The landscape for AI chatbots has heated up in recent years, particularly after OpenAI launched its model chat GPT in November 2022. Months later, in March 2023, Google entered the AI chatbot game with its release of its own model, dubbed Bard. After a heavily criticized rollout, Google introduced Gemini, another chatbot, in December. Google's Gemini had a similar controversial rollout after generating historically inaccurate images, which led to Musk claiming the company's AI arm is racist, in a post on X. Elon Musk's chatbot Grok to go open source. Here's what to know, Forbes, Elon Musk's artificial intelligence startup XAI will merge with X after releasing, rebellious, Grok chatbot, Forbes, Elon Musk's artificial intelligence startup launching its first product Saturday. Here's what to know about XAI, Forbes, Jeff Bezos overtakes Elon Musk as richest person in the US. 13th flip-flop this month, Forbes.